Hi, it's Thane the Brain. I'm so glad you found my channel. Please like and subscribe. Here is the finished car, Desert Ridge Spring 2016. This was the winner. Rolled, I can't remember, look at my other video, 46 meters, something like that. And uh, so uh, we're going to give you a few tips on building a cardboard car and what we did. So here, you kind of refresh, look at the other video, you can see like that wheel's half black and yellow, so as it spun, it kind of had a chomping mouth was the idea. And another fender here with the ghost, some of the guys were wearing t-shirts. We had our inside, the, the, the top here comes off. Uh, had some handles to grip onto, and a seat, and some bolts that held the wheels down. So we're going to give you a couple good tips on building a good car. First, you want to plan and design your car. How, how big you're going to make the base, uh, your wheels, and size, and kind of draw it up. How thick, how thick your support will be, and and so forth. So. Uh, that's step number one, do some planning. Step number two, wheels. You wanna make a nice solid wheel. We went for about 18 and a half inches. Um, our mistake was not making them perfectly round. Um, so you wanna make them very round. You'll see in my original video that the, the car and wheels were wobbled all, all over. We, we sanded them off to try and smooth out the, the ridges and uh, also the thickness. So we went in the rear, each of these is five things thick, so five, 10, 15, 20 pieces wide. Way too, way too wide, we didn't need to go that big. We probably could have gotten away with uh, 10, uh, maybe 12 or 15 to be safe. In the front we only did 15, so just for a little bit extra support we did 20, but you don't need to be quite that wide. Uh, you, you want a good size wheel. So 18 inches is, is good because you can find some pieces that are big and flat enough. You know, if you try getting too big, you'll have lots of creases in the cardboard. If you go too small, it's not going to roll very well. So, you know, somewhere in that 15 to 20 inch range is probably perfect. And uh, smoothness, you know, you want it nice and round and thickness. So that's, that's step two, is kind of make sure your wheels are nice and uh, cylindrical. So as we roll, you can kind of see, it rolls pretty smooth now. Look at the other videos, but uh, you know, make sure you have a good, good solid wheel. Next step is the base that you're gonna sit on. Again, we did four, da, 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 somewhere, around, somewhere around 15 to 20 layers slathered a lot of glue same thing on the tires so lots of glue we did we did four at a time and then glued them glued them all together at the end um you know we'd slather lots of that uh, glue from from home depot and then lay them flat and put some some 40 pound bags of salt or something on them so really weighed them down really got them solid and stuck together same thing here uh thickness I mean, we were, we were worried and conservative. This is very thick. We didn't need to go that thick. I mean, that's a, that's a solid. <laughs> Let's get my tape measure here. I mean, you're over two inches thick. Uh, inch and a half would have been plenty on the thickness of your base. So, but we, we got a nice, a nice wide base. Um, let's see what we did in length here. 22 inches uh, in, in width. And length was 44 inches. So that's a good solid, you know, this was nice and solid and well done. You could you could get away with a little smaller, but if you want something solid, that's gonna last, you know, something like 20 by 40 inches. Let's look at the bottom and talk the wooden axle here. So our rules allow for wooden axle. I think almost all rules are going to allow for wooden axle. Where some rules differ is if you can use some metal to, to connect it all. Our rules allow for metal. Um, I'll show you an alternative if you couldn't use metal, how I would put it together. But so you want a nice, uh, a nice piece of wood. 
This was, look, let's double check our width here. This was one, one and three eighths on the, uh, and, and that's as small as I would go. There were some others that did one inch or three quarters inch, and a lot of those snapped. So one and three eighths worked out well. Um, also back to the wheels, you know, you you want that hole drilled nice and, and centered on there to so your wheel doesn't wobble. They also allowed us to give some support with some metal. So we have these L braces, three per wheel here and here. I did it on the uh, on the outside in the front. On the rear, we actually did it on the inside. I think I can't remember why. What our reasoning was. I think it's. Um, it might it might have actually hit the our our eye bolt here, but uh, anyway, you find out what works. So now, uh, while we're on the axle, let's talk about connecting it to the car. So we use these eye bolts, a big thick uh, eye bolt. I don't know if that's probably three eighths. Now, what happens is you get some play in that. You know, there's a lot of play in this piece of wood going back and forth, which would allow, you know, the wheel would hit right here. So what we did is we, we just got this little U-bolt uh, uh, and tightened it on the inside here. It, it, tore up, it tore up here, but we had enough cardboard that it didn't matter. And uh, we, we just spun it a ton and really tore it out so it would roll smooth. Now here's a little secret tip. See how black that is in there? We dumped a ton of graphite inside, uh, just caked it in here. That's nice, that's nice and smooth. Like they, you know, if you've seen my Pinewood Derby videos, uh, you know, that's that's how you use, um, that's what you use on Pinewood Derby. So we did it in here. And this thing, these things will roll nice and smooth. Uh, we did it enough to get rid of all the, you know, uh, all the eye bolts scratching in here. And now, I told you the wheel isn't super perfect, so you can see there's a, uh, you know, when you watch the video of this thing racing, you'll, you'll see that that wheel's not perfectly cylindrical on the rear tube. That, that was, you know, really work on those wheels and get them nice and round. Um, you know, we went through, here was a chunk, you know, you can see we worked this with an electric sander, sanded, sanded, uh, sanded a ton right here. You know, we did a lot of sanding to try and smooth it out as much as possible, but it's still got a little bit of play in that wheel. But they roll smooth, and uh, you know that thing just rolls with that graphite in there. There's no friction. Friction kills the car, so you want to avoid friction. Here's the inside. I told you we used eye bolts to uh, connect this. So eye bolts in the rear. This is kind of our seat pad here for a nice seat. Um, and while it, so that was the eye bolt, about six inches long, three eighths, maybe, yeah, it must have been three. I don't think it was a half, but a good solid, we use good solid materials so that they, uh, that they wouldn't come off. Now, if you couldn't use an eye bolt, I made, I made these two handles here. So this is for the driver to just kind of have a good place to kind of grip and hold. But if you couldn't use eye bolt, this is how I would fasten the uh, piece of um, the, the axle to the bottom is I fold over a bunch of layers. This is just this is just a whole bunch of folded uh, cardboard wrapped around four or five times, lots of glue in there, extra glue piece on top to kind of give it some support. You could you could make something like that in kind of the form and shape of a, an eye bolt and run your axle through there. That that could have been a possibility as well, but Fortunately, we were allowed to use an eye bolt and some metal, so that was okay. So while we're in here, let's talk uh, weight disbursement. So we got the feet placed up here and the butt up here. Um, you don't want to put all your weight right in the middle, especially if you got a small axle, you'll snap. So we had we had him put the feet as far to the side as possible, so it was kind of right over the eye bolt, gave it some support. Um, some handle to kind of duck down here uh, You know luckily it was wide enough that that it had you know It didn't we didn't get much bending or bowing as we raced it, but um, That's kind of tip is to 
don't put all your weight, if you can, right in the middle. I think what we tried to have him do was uh, kind of put the feet on the edge and kind of lift up his, hold his hands there and kind of lift his butt up. So especially on that ramp as you, as you came down, uh, as you came down the ramp and then tip, all that weight, a lot of, a lot of axle snapped on that downhill. So make sure you kind of just spread out your weight uh, over the support spots, not in the middle. In the middle, you're going to snap your axles. The rest of the car, uh, I think we've given you some good ideas and good tips. The rest of the car is just sort of aesthetics. You know, we, we put this top on here to, to make a design. The side was too wide. The rear looks like uh, four wide. We had a little back here so, so they could have a seat and pack. Um, but th that's just aesthetics. I mean, the main thing is your wheels and your support base where you're sitting. And, uh, you know, good round wheels and take out the friction and uh, you should have fun with it. So it's a fun project. Uh, everyone in class loved it. And uh, you know, this thing still rolls pretty straight. Maybe, uh, maybe one of these days we'll put it up for sale. You can make me an offer. I mean, it's got uh, uh, glue and everything. It's probably like 250 bucks worth of tools and materials in here. Uh, it's kind of crazy that these things add up, but uh, we'll give it a little test run down the driveway here and see how it rolls. Still pretty good. Uh oh, but not hit that Cadillac across the street. Thanks everyone, hope you have a uh, great time, fun time building, and good luck on your cardboard car. Thanks for watching my video. Please watch, like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube is making us get a required number of subscribers in order to stay on the YouTube partner program, so please subscribe.